Welcome to Classic Car Cave for um, the normal subscribers and people who are just watching in. I wanted to do a very quick little video, five, six minute video on the four poster ramp that I have. It's called a Find Hall. Um, it's a three and a half ton four poster lift. Um, it's from a company called Strongman. Uh, I'm not getting, <laughs> uh, I'm not being sponsored or anything. I've had this uh, four poster ramp for oh, 10, 12 years, something like that. Um, and this thing has been absolutely invaluable, especially for me doing restorations on the Minis and the Jaguars and, and whatever cars we've worked on. Um, with the pit jack that's included in it, which goes along, which is a hydraulic scissor jack that goes along the full length of the of the ramp, it's absolutely been invaluable. I couldn't have done, I, I could have done the work, but it would have been extremely difficult without it. Um, so it's just to say, if you're buying a, a, a four poster ramp or whatever ramp you're thinking of buying, um, just to quickly qualify that, the reason I didn't go for a two poster, which is less floor space or less footprint, but the problem with the two posters is you have to crawl underneath them to, to pull the arms out um, to get the pads in the right position. It's very important that the car is, is on it square and it's balanced. Um, and as you're getting older, the last thing you want to be doing is crawling around on the floor. This is the reason I went for the four poster. I can literally drive on and lift the ramp in the air. So it depends on, there are pros and cons for both. But the four poster for me was something that I thought about in the future. Being 65, coming on 66, I didn't want to be crawling around on the floor. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. So when I, when I got this, this is a, a Strongman lift, it's about a three and a half ton. And one of the issues with it is um, to take off these ramps. They're extremely heavy, they're very well made, they're extremely heavy. And so I wanted to come up with a system where I could leave them in place but not hanging down because I can't put another car in behind it and they're very dangerous, easily you could walk into them. So what we did was is I came up with an idea to split the top of the on the top of the ramp here and make this extra piece here and then because originally it went up onto the, the main platform and then I came up with this idea to make a hinge system on it. So basically I made a hinge like that on it and then I put a bolt on the side and basically all you do is lift that up put it into the hole and then the whole ramp goes up and you just put the nut back on and it's secured. And we made it in such a way that the back of this ramp goes up past the overhead I've got here where there's an old um, toy lander, Land Rover, which I built for uh, the nieces and nephews. So this is the system that I made and I'll bring the camera in and show you exactly how it works. Very basic, just a couple of steel plates. You can see it's got a, a backing plate on there so that the hinge can't fall forward. Uh, and it just simply works like that. There's really, really nothing quite to it. And there's the piece inside on this one. And it's the same situation, you can see it just folds and locks. Um, yeah, and it, it works really well. So uh, that's a little idea if you've got a three poster ramp, or oh, sorry, a three, four poster ramp, and you want to do something like that, it works really well. So I'm going to bring the car up now. I'll pop it up in the air and I'll show you the underneath the car. So this is. This is it, it's Strongman uh, is the name of the company. This thing has been absolutely invaluable. This is the, this is the logo, Strongman. There you can see. Really, really good ramp. Got it at a very good price, but it was a lot of years ago. And also the uh, pit jack that goes in the center there, you can probably just see it underneath. Um, so what I'll do is I'll handbrake on here. And it's very basic, just got one control. This is the down lever, so all you're doing is dumping the hydraulic fluid and then going up here. And you can see, you can see it looks like those end of those ramps are going to hit that line. Um, it's very, very close. So it certainly looks like it's going to be close, but once it goes up, you can see it easily goes faster.
is switch it off. And what you can do with this system, which is nice, is you can lock it out. So you've got a lockout system here. You can undo this, this handle, just normally goes like that. You can undo that handle, which locks the dogs inside, in here. And then you can bring the ramp down and you can see, watch this bar on the side here. You'll see it locks to the nearest now. So actually all the hydraulics is off, but the ramp's locked and it can't go anywhere.